On this week's episode, I start my journey to become the world's best taco photographer. Three, two, one. I'm Taylor Jackson. I travel and I take pictures. It's always been my dream to have a travel show, so one day I just woke up and did it. Marshall. What's going on, man? Would you want to come to LA? I want to rent a reasonable car and become the world's best taco photographer. And I would like you to document the process. Oh, see, why not? When is it? Maybe Monday? Three days? In three days or for three days? In three days, for three days. Unless you'd also like to go to Vegas, too. Well, I'm working late this weekend, but uh, if you want to drive to the airport, I don't see why not. Like, I got a loadout on Sunday night. I'll probably go to, like, 2 o'clock. What time's the flight? My friend put up a Facebook post, and all his friends from kind of the L.A. area commented on what their favorite establishments are, um, favorite taco establishments are around the area. So we're going to go check some of them out. I think it's going to be a good day. So this is a thing that's actually happening. It's the middle of wedding season, and I need a little bit of a vacation. Instead of relaxing and taking a few days off, I'm flying to Los Angeles to film a documentary about tacos with my good friend Marshall. This place is called Diablo's. It's on sunset. The tacos here are the perfect blend of authentic and something new. They also photograph really well. 10 out of 10 Diablo's. So we're here at our third location. Thank you very much. Where are we? Culver City? Amazing place. Best tacos so far. We didn't really think through the LA portion of this to do seven to nine taco places in one day. We were feeling a little rough after taco place number five. But we're gonna we're gonna continue on with the, with the plan. Then things got a little romantic over at Terranea. I have no shame when it comes to featuring properties that have hooked us up while filming the show. If it wasn't for Terranea, we have probably been staying over at the Travel Plaza Inn in Compton. It looked like a fine place of lodging and it was only $80 a night, but Terranea seems a lot better. Hardwood floors, a bed without burn marks and bullet holes, great bath products, and sunsets are included in the room costs pretty much every night of the year. Then we went to Tito's and no one would serve us. So we went across the parking lot to the next taco place instead. It was around this point that I actually felt my taco photography skills were reaching a professional level. I think we're gonna stop at the Taco Bell up here. Get a bag of Taco Bell. Why? It's authentic Mexican no. cuisine. It's what I've been told. No, I don't want it. It was founded here in California, we have to go. On this trip, I brought the most bizarre little film camera with me. I was so excited to use it. What I didn't know at the time is that when we were on the plane, the plastic lens fell off, and that every single shot that I was taking was going to be out of focus. So we're back here in the back alley in Malibu. Our last taco stop of the day. It's been a long day. Nine taco places. And um, I'm excited to sleep. I don't know why we rented a Porsche for this trip. At the time, it seemed like an incredibly important part of the story. Looking back, we were just two guys that went to LA, rented a douchey car, and treated the city like an all-inclusive taco resort. I think we actually stumbled across the American dream, and it was beautiful. It's a Taco Bell, what was it called, Waffle Taco? 
breakfast at the Bell. The best of. Take a bite. I'm not gonna put this in my mouth. <laughs> I am, I'm gonna eat that. If we'd really found the American dream, I'm glad that we had found it at a Taco Bell attached to a gas station on the side of the Pacific Coast Highway in California. The American dream is pretty greasy. Someone once told me that helicopters make the show look much more professional. So here's a clip from when my dad and I went to Catalina Island on a totally different trip. I ate a potato taco on that trip, which sounds intriguing, but in reality it's actually just mashed potatoes in a hard taco shell. It was much worse than the waffle taco. I hope that seeing these helicopter visuals added to your viewing experience, and now you're much more likely to share this on Facebook. XOXO Gossip Girl. On next week's episode, the documentary goes to Las Vegas. I had four beers on the airplane. Marshall had four beers on the airplane.